Hey there, I want to show you how to create uh, box and whisker graphs or box plots using uh, a technology tool that I like a lot. Uh, so I've got some data here. It says the data below shows the age distribution of teachers at the Genius Academy. And uh, and it's uh, we're just supposed to describe this distribution by making a box plot. And so I want to walk you through the steps of how to do that. Uh, what I'd like to do is start by going in your calculator. If you go Stat, Edit, and in List 1, you just type in the data. I've already done that. I've typed in all the data values. And after you type them in, it's Stat, Calc, 1 for one variable stats. This is going to give me some information that I need. Um, what I need to make a box plot is the what we call the five number sum summary, which is the bottom of the screen here. We need the minimum, quartile one, the median, quartile three, and the maximum. Uh, now the website I like to use is uh, this one right here, imathas.com stat tools slash box plot. And what we do is we just give it some fields. It doesn't want raw data, it wants the five number summary. So the title I'm going to give it is the variable of interest, which is the age of teachers at the Genius Academy. So that's what I'm going to type in there. Age of teachers at the Genius Academy. And then it wants the minimum, which I got on the calculator, is 21. Quartile one was 35.5 the median was 43 the quartile 3 was 54 and the maximum was age was 69 uh, that's gonna draw the box whisker graph for me this next part is the box plot limits I usually like to start at zero just because it's a nice place to start the maximum, as long as it's bigger than 69, it's fine. Um, I'm just going to set it to 80 so that I can see the box whisker plot, the whole thing. The dis between the ticks, tick marks, we could probably put that at uh, 10. Just have them go up by 10 every time. And then the axis title is age in years. Um, I do want to display the numbers on the box plot. Now this image size, you can make this thing wider or higher if you like. I'm going to go ahead and draw it, and then if I, if I don't like the size of it, if something looks funky, I'm going to adjust it. So I'm just going to draw this thing to see how it looks. And it looks like I can see the whole thing, none of the numbers are on top of each other. But if I wanted to make it a little bit clearer, I can make the width like 700. And it just kind of spreads the thing out a little bit. So you can just mess with it, make it 300 for the height. And, uh, you know, whatever looks nice, that looks a little spread out. You could probably make that height 150. And what's nice about this is you can, if you just right-click it, you can copy the image and then say you want to put it into a PowerPoint or something. Or a Google Sheets or a Google Slides uh, presentation. You just right-click and you tell it to paste and it's going to appear there. So that's what I really like about this particular program. Um, is that all we were supposed to do there? Report the five number summary, which we did. And yeah, that's how you're going to want to do it. That's how you make a nice, pretty box and whisker plot. All right, thanks for watching.